Set plays are becoming increasingly important in modern soccer. According to the compilers of part six of the Dutch soccer school, there is a logical explanation for this. In the first place, it's a consequence of tactical choices. Modern teams try to deny their opponent space. Teams often do not have the time and the space to build up a successful passing move. The number of tackles is increasing, and this inevitably means that more fouls are committed. The logical consequence is more free kicks. Whether an attacking or defensive style of play is adopted, there are more goal mouth situations and a greater likelihood of penalties being awarded. Moreover, genuine specialists can spend more time practicing than ever before. It's therefore logical that more and more games are being decided from set plays, especially at the very top level. Just look at the statistics of the 1998 World Cup in France. During the tournament, 20 goals were scored from free kicks, 5 directly and 15 indirectly, 16 goals resulted from corners, and 17 from penalty kicks. The number of goals scored during the whole World Cup was 171, and 53 of them came from set plays. This is 31%. And how was the final between Brazil and France decided? From two corner kicks, of course. The importance of set plays is not restricted to top soccer. At every level, it's true that dead ball situations, set plays, increasingly make the difference between winning and losing. This is why the Dutch soccer school decided to devote an instructional video completely to this important and specific aspect of the game of soccer. Which set plays are dealt with? Corner kicks from the perspective of the attacking team. Corner kicks from the perspective of the defending team. Free kicks from the perspective of the attacking team. Free kicks from the perspective of the defending team. Throw-ins and penalty kicks.